If you'd like to memorize 10 times faster, this video will show how easily you can improve. You remember information in two main ways, as words using your verbal memory or as pictures using your visual memory. They're different mental processes and they achieve dramatically different results. People never believe how absolutely crazy the difference is. So here's a challenge for you and you can prove it for yourself. First, let's test your verbal memory. I'll give you a list of 10 words and let's see how many you're able to remember. Here we go. Piano. Elephant. Truck. Bottle. Basketball. Chair. Pineapple. Dog. Painting. Trampoline. Okay, pause the video and write down all the words you can remember. How'd you go? If you're like the average person, you were able to recall about five to seven words, not necessarily in the right order. So that was your verbal memory. Now let's test your visual memory. I'll give you another list of words, but this time I'll also give a short story and draw a picture. To activate your visual memory, just create a mental picture of everything I describe and draw. You can even close your eyes if you want and just listen to my voice. Here we go. Ferrari. Imagine you're driving a bright red Ferrari with the top down. The music is pumping above the throaty growl of the engine and your hair is blowing in the wind. Chicken. With a loud thump, a giant chicken lands in the seat next to you. It's the size of a person, enormous and yellow. It must have fallen out of the sky. Watermelon. The chicken opens the car door and leaps out onto the road. As it stands there, an enormous green watermelon rolls over the top of it and keeps rolling down the road. Barack Obama. You watch the watermelon roll down the road and straight into Barack Obama. The watermelon splits in half and Obama is left standing there, dripping in watermelon juice. Poodle. Obama picks up a passing poodle and uses it to wipe juice off his face. The poodle is pure white, but as it soaks up watermelon juice, it slowly turns bright pink. Flagpole. Obama throws the poodle away. It flies through the air and lands on the top of a tall flagpole. The weight of the juicy poodle causes the flagpole to slowly topple over. Cake. With a loud and messy splat, the flagpole falls into the middle of an enormous birthday cake. Icing, cream and candles go flying everywhere, raining down on people passing by. Doll. A large dollop of cream lands on the head of an oversized Barbie doll. It creates a weird chemical reaction and the doll shoots into the sky like a space rocket, blonde hair trailing behind her. Pizza. The doll rockets upwards and just as it starts to fall, a large pizza explodes open above her head like a parachute. The pizza is attached to the doll by long strings of melted cheese. Giraffe. The pizza eventually lands on the ground, covering the doll, and a giraffe walks over and starts eating the pizza, bending its long neck and stretching its tongue to lick up the delicious cheese. Skateboard. After eating too much pizza, the giraffe pulls out a skateboard, jumps on it, and starts gliding down the street, ducking signs and street lights as it rolls along. Cigarette. The skateboard begins coughing and it stops and uses one of its wheels to light a cigarette. The cigarette becomes engulfed in flames and the skateboard throws it away. Statue of Liberty. The flaming cigarette flies through the air and lands on the torch being held aloft by the Statue of Liberty. The torch bursts into flames too. Ice cream. The Statue of Liberty comes alive and thrusts the burning torch deep into a big bucket of ice cream. 
It's cherry chocolate ice cream that melts and starts to bubble ominously. Fireworks. The ice cream explodes into fireworks, lighting up the sky above the Statue of Liberty with brightly coloured fireworks forming the words, the end. Okay, pause the video again and write down how many words you're able to recall using your visual memory. The trick is to recreate a picture in your mind of each image in the story. Did you see the difference? And I did something sneaky. I gave you 15 words, not 10, but the average person would have been able to recall from 10 up to all 15 words, and mostly in the correct order. Leave a comment below and let me know how your verbal memory scored against your visual memory. Visual memory techniques have been around for thousands of years, but for some strange reason, most people only know verbal memory techniques. Verbal techniques are things like acronyms and acrostics, word associations and rhymes, and even songs, and they all need a serious chunk of boring repetition. They can be fantastic for a small number of words, but they don't activate the amazing power of your visual memory. If you'd like to activate the stunning power of your visual memory to memorize the entire periodic table of elements, head over to memorizeperiodictable.com and check out our step-by-step animated video course. And if you'd like to learn some more amazing visual memory techniques, you can register there for our free video training series too, and learn how to transform yourself into an amazing student. Don't forget to tell me in the comments below your scores for your verbal and your visual memory. And if you thought this was a cool challenge, please share it with your friends and see if their memory is as amazing as yours. Thanks for watching. Bye.